The sutra states, quote, The wisdom of the Buddhas is infinitely profound and immeasurable. Close quote. It refers to the Buddhas here in the sense of all Buddhas throughout the ten directions in the three existences, from the thus come one Mahavirachana of the True Word School and Amida of the Pure Land School to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of all schools and all sutras, all Buddhas of the past, future, and present, and the present thus come one Shakyamuni. And the sutra speaks of the wisdom of all those Buddhas. What is meant by this wisdom? It is the entity of the true aspect, of all phenomena, and of the ten factors of life that lead all beings to Buddhahood. What then is that entity? It is nam myoho renge kyo A commentary states that the profound principle of the true aspect is the originally inherent myoho renge kyo we learn that the true aspect of all phenomena is also the two Buddhas, Shakyamuni, and many treasures seated together in the treasure tower. All phenomena corresponds to many treasures, and the true aspect corresponds to Shakyamuni. These are also the two elements of reality and wisdom. Many treasures is reality. Shakyamuni is wisdom. It is the enlightenment that reality and wisdom are two, and yet they are not two. These are the teachings of prime importance. These are also what is called earthly desires are enlightenment, and the sufferings of birth and death are nirvana. The sufferings of birth and death are nirvana exists only in realizing that the entity of life throughout its cycle of birth and death is neither born nor destroyed. The Universal Worthy Sutra states, quote, Without either cutting off earthly desires or separating themselves from the five desires, they can purify all their senses and wipe away all their offenses, close quote. Great Concentration and Insight says, quote, the ignorance and dust of desires are enlightenment, and the sufferings of birth and death are nirvana. Close quote. The lifespan chapter of the Lotus Sutra says, quote, At all times I think to myself, How can I cause living beings to gain entry into the unsurpassed way and quickly acquire the body of a Buddha? Close quote. The expedient means chapter says, quote, the characteristics of the world are constantly abiding. Close quote. Surely such statements refer to these principles. Thus, what is called the entity is none other than Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. In the Teacher of the Law chapter, the Buddha states that he will magically conjure and send the four kinds of believers, monks, nuns, laymen, and laywomen, for the sake of the teachers of the law. If the layman mentioned here does not mean you, who does it refer to? You have not only heard the law, but have taken faith in it, and, since then, have followed it without turning aside. How wondrous! How extraordinary! 